Hey guys, Pygai Rules here, and welcome back to Let's Play Creature from the Krusty Krab, where we left off. You're about to watch a cutscene involving this worm. So let's see how this unfolds. There's some crazy teeth on it. <laughs> we made it! Hey, is that Plankton? Who's the penny now, Krabby Daddy? Hey, Plankton, there's something different about you. New haircut? Whoa! Look out! That's my Krabby Patty for his pest. Uh-oh. Give it back! <clears throat> uh, no, we don't need to save right now. <laughs> he wasn't afraid of the dark. Till now, it came from Bikini Bottom. So now the horror side of this game is really kind of taking over, um, which I, I, makes more sense for the, um, the cover. Because the first few parts really didn't have much to do with kind of B-movie schlockiness. <laughs> from the key. D. All right, SpongeBob, you can stop laughing. Okay, so let's see. So this basically kind of plays Don't forget to collect the fuel balloons aircraft made from junk need plenty of fuel, you know. So this is basically like Patrick's part. Okay, yeah. Yep, basically. Um so someone said that the the characters, it's like dreams within dreams. Like SpongeBob is dreaming of Patrick, dreaming of Plankton, dreaming of SpongeBob, dreaming of Patrick, something like that. And that might be what they're going for. But if that is, it wasn't obvious to me. It seemed to me it just seemed like we're zooming around Bikini Bottom, looking at these several different characters' dreams that kind of tie together. Also, that was a that was a reference to Scaredy Pants. Um, that's SpongeBob's brain exposed, and yeah, uh, I was also oops, someone also mentioned that the the endings of each vignette, each each location of this game, end anticlimactically because that's kind of how dreams end. Which I mean, that does make sense from an internal logic, but like from a oh, I need fuel. <laughs> I got fuel. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, uh, I'm fine. Okay, maybe I'm not that fine. Um, but yeah, it's it's just not fun from a gameplay perspective to, to every time something cool seems like it's about to happen, we just cut away to a different character. Also, I have no idea how close we are to being done with this game. People said that there were... People said that there were nine sections, even though the back of the box says that there were eight. This would be section... Seven, I think. You're good at this. So we're getting close, I guess. Do you want me to fly these things? Nah, it's okay, old man Jenkins. <laughs> it can't be good for the poor jellyfish either. God, too much stuff in my eyes here. So I think, the, I mean, the last part, ooh, gosh, the last, oh, there was a sleepy seat. I had no way of knowing that that would be right there. That sucks. The last part with where we were playing as Plankton was definitely the most fun part of this game, and I mean, I don't know. I, I still haven't played the, the rest of it here, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was the most fun part of the entire game. Someone mentioned it being absolutely atrocious with motion controls, and that doesn't surprise me. Oh, the Bikini Bottom Sewers! Hmm. Sewers of Bikini Bottom, you say? In SpongeBob's dreams. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. It's like discount, uh... Battletoads here. Right, left. Whoa, God. Nothing can stop me now. Hey, 
I don't care, Plankton. Take the Krabby Patty. It's just a dream anyway. <laughs> Granted, I, yeah, I'm, I'm still confused as to whose dream we're in right now and w what exactly is going on with the greater narrative of this game. But yeah, it's weird because I seem to remember enjoying the Plankton section of the game back when I played it on the Wii. But if it had atrocious motion, uh, motion controls, then... I don't know, maybe I liked the idea of the section, but got frustrated. Because I don't re I don't remember anything beyond that point. I didn't really remember much before that point, but... I definitely don't remember this. Oh, there's a Sleepy Seed. Can I get it? Can I get it? Yeah! That one actually gave me some warning. You're not gonna ruin my plans today. Uh, is it Plan Z, Plankton? <clears throat> yes, yeah, SpongeBob, you've been you've been flying this plane for for a good little while here. SpongeBob piloting a biplane would never happen. We didn't have to go in the sewers, old man Jenkins. Actually, I don't know why. We, let's just like stop here and get out, and we'll be safe from from plankton. You know, like we we don't. Why why are we still flying, really? It's your answer to everything, old man Jenkins. I'm really kind of curious as to what the next part of this game is going to be. If we're going to play as Patrick, who somehow gets involved, ooh, in this mess. Or, uh, or what? Whoa, okay. Don't you worry, old man Jenkins. I'll avoid these enormous forearms. Eh, even if I hit him, it doesn't seem to be slowing us down too much here. <laughs> I should probably not, though, because we're about to run out of fuel. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We're fine. We're fine. No need to worry. Uh, Mayday! Mayday! We need some convenient fuel balloons. Whoa, alright, old man Jenkins. You get out here and do it then. There's, there's just a lot going on on this screen, man. It's hard to even. Oh, well, okay. Uh, where's the. Oh, yeah! Alright. I will not, Plankton. Hey, I was much more fun playing as Plankton, I gotta say. Is this it? Oh, well, I, oh, I, I almost was there, Plankton. If the game kept playing, then there'd be no more fuel for me. Nope, no saving. Don't worry, I do save after, <laughs> after each video here. With the pressure mounting to stratospheric levels, SpongeBob concocts a cunning plan. He leads the rampaging Plankton away from Bikini Bottom, and in doing so, save the innocent people from a fate worse than Plankton. <laughs> Let me guess, we're gonna shoot him in his big eye? Looks like you've made Plankton even more mad than usual. Use the control stick to dodge his attacks. Don't forget to grab the fuel balloons, too. Oh. Oh, great, now we're shooting directly at, at the screen. Ooh, this is this is a little disorienting. Um, was this game meant to be played in 3D as well? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sure this wasn't too fun in motion controls. Remember when? Remember when SpongeBob did the uh, the smell vision event? Spe speaking of like 3D type gimmicks. Uh, this is something, I, maybe not many people know about this, I don't think this is too well documented, but, uh, there was a time in, like, must have been, like, 2000, 2001, like, the very early 2000s, when Nickelodeon was doing this weird, like, smell vision event, and you could, you could get these cards that maybe, like, uh, Burger King? I don't know, I might be confusing it with Rograt's Good Wild, but, but there, there were these cards that were, like, snatch and, s scratch and sniff, um, and, I didn't hit you there, Plankton. 
Uh, and and basically, little things would appear up on the screen as you watched shows. And what are all these guys doing in the background? Are they gonna help me, like kill Plankton or something? Uh, but yeah, the, these little icons would appear, and you would scratch and sniff, and it was a thing. I don't remember what any of the other things were. Just I know for a fact that uh, it was. Sandy's rocket when Patrick and when they get the the peanut butter and the, the toothpaste mixed up I don't I, I I don't know if I even ever got one of those cards and participated I just remember seeing the icon and I don't know I, I do kind of to this day I wonder what what does toothpaste and peanut butter smell like together I mean I guess I could I could very easily find out these are household objects uh, it's not that big of a mystery I guess but it just seemed like an unusual thing to have Maybe it just smelled like peanut butter. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you lost, buddy? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Plankton was just like confused for a second. He's like, uh oh. The Plankton situation is escalating enormously, and our heroes are forced to change their plan. They head into a construction yard to face giant plankton and the sheer unimaginable horror of the extended coffee break. <laughs> heroes? Are we considering Old Man Jenkins to be a hero? Man, Old Man Jenkins gets more prominence in these video games than, like, uh, Mr. Krabs. Well, he's in this game more than Krabs and Sandy, at the very least. Uh, find the conspicuously flashing targets and zap them. Who knows what will happen when you drop- when you- do. Oh, oh, I know. Ask me. All right. Uh, I hope we come back around for that one. Whoa, we're going a little fast now. Yeah, I, I wonder if old man Jenkins has more lines. Oh, God. Don't do that right in my eyes. Uh, did I... Why does it always happen like this? I don't think this particular scenario has happened, Plankton, before. I'm shooting. Uh, there we go. It's pretty impressive that he screamed without opening his mouth. But yeah, I wonder if Old Man Jenkins has more lines in this game than, like, Krabs does in all of the Spongebob video games ever. <laughs> Probably not, but it's still kind of a funny comparison. If we don't shoot Plankton directly in his big fat eye, I will be very disappointed. Spongebob's doing his little dance. Are we really not going to shoot him in his big fat eye? Just maybe Spongebob uh. can lead the beast out of the city. Will he be able to escape the rampaging Plankton? <laughs> That's a good picture of Plankton. Probably not. It didn't work last time. A tiny brain. Ooh, look at the pretty light. Oh, those fish look pretty dang ugly. Ugh. This is a very elaborate dream. Oh, where's the where 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 is it? There it is. Wait, no, it's a jellyfish. Where was the? Uh, you guys probably saw the sleepy seed. It's hard, man. There's a lot of stuff coming at the screen. Apparently, goodness. Uh, apparently, beating, getting all the sleepy seeds, and beating the final level as Plankton and Patrick gets you uh, a bonus ending. Because I don't know what it is, but every single one of these SpongeBob games needs a bonus ending. I don't think, I don't think Flying Dutchman had one. But then again, I wouldn't know because I didn't hundred percent it technically. Uh oh. There we go. Is that is that like an oil? Are they drilling for oil here? Is that what this is? No, no, they're they're like mining or something. I was gonna say if they're drilling for oil, man, I don't know what is what is up with these SpongeBob games in oil. Also, why are there big keep out signs just over the middle of this uh, rock quarry? Hmm. Spongebob just said that, old man Jenkins. And you've said that before too, Plankton. 
put my finger on it. I love, I love this, and in it's in the game, but it's also oh, I should keep firing. Oops, 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 oops. It's also on the back of the box where, oops, sorry, guy, uh, where SpongeBob just has this dumb smile on his face while this giant plankton is shooting laser beams and and just like menacing everything. I didn't even see that sleepy seed. He's just got this like stupid smile on his face, like, yep, just a normal day in Bikini Bottom. <laughs> They definitely gave Plankton a big vocabulary in this game. Do we get anything for shooting those down? I don't think... I can't imagine we would. I mean, they're supposed to be the Bikini Bottom Defense Force, right? What? What was that? Was that a guy in a toilet and his eyes fell off or something? I, I don't understand. It happened so quickly in the... the um, a lot of the colors are so dark in this game. To escape and will the chase ever end? I hope not. I sure hope it does. Paid by the word, you know. <laughs> Annoying commentary. I do wonder if some of these fish models were ripped from, like, uh, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman or something, because they don't look very good. I never realized Plankton had such a big eye. <laughs> Curse your square pants. Hey, at least I wear pants, man. Well, pan pants that don't come from the baby gap. I knew no good would come from giant planktons. Just take it, dude. I don't even know that SpongeBob knows this patty is attached. I thought it would be something like SpongeBob, like valiantly grabs the patty and tries to keep it away from Plankton, but no, it's just like the patty conveniently happened to grab onto SpongeBob, and SpongeBob is like kind of ignorant to even what's what's happening with it. Uh, since the last stage, SpongeBob, come on, stay with it here. Oops, <laughs> dive, and I go the other way. I'm not sure whether I like the fact that it tells you to dive or go left and right, or if I dislike it. Because on the one hand, it is nice to have some indication because the background and the foreground are, are very, um, very busy. But on the other hand, it, it makes it a little too easy, and I mean, this is already pretty easy. You see me getting hit a lot and suffering no consequence. Plankton, don't you think maybe you could like step on the Krusty Krab and just take a little patty out of the out of the patty vault or something? <laughs> There's got to be easier ways. Next level or oh, finally it's SpongeBob versus Plankton in a pitched battle here in Bikini. I hope this isn't the final level. It might be for all I know. Crashing to the ground, or will they just annoy him a bit? It's going to be the second one, isn't it? Most likely. Oh, King Kong references. Find the conspicuously flashing... I do like that they, they are on the nose with their conspicuously flashing targets, because that's, that's conspicuous is the word that I always use to describe these things in video games and zap them. Who knows what will happen? All right, we've seen this before. Whoa, goodness. <laughs> Not even... <laughs> Not even Spongebob knows why this game is happening. Yeah, that's that's something that could definitely be better about this game is, like, more clear objectives. And I, and I don't mean... <clears throat> I don't mean objectives in the sense... Like, I can, I can literally look at what the objectives are. But, like, I mean, like, why... What the overall point of the game is. Like, even... Like, in Battle for Bikini Bottom, I mean, there, there's not really a clear connection between collecting golden spatulas and stopping the robots. But but you got the point that the overall goal was to stop the robots and, and get into the chum bucket to do so. In this game, I'm fighting Plankton because we have his Krabby Patty, which d d just jumped onto our plane and he wants it. But he, we're in a dream that might be Spongebob's or... Plankton's. Don't try to 
Or Patrick's for all I know. Okay, why did I need that cutscene there? Yeah, I'm gonna get off there, Plankton. I think something's gonna happen. This is this is just like in Breath of the Wild when you're when you're doing the tasks to um don't worry, I won't say any spoilers, but when you're doing the tasks to, to get to the dungeons. This is this is exactly like that. This game is literally Breath of the Wild. Okay. I mean that's like a like a foot comparatively to him. My flagella. Are you okay, Plankton? <laughs> I think I've suffered mild abrasions and maybe some light grazing. Ugh. Um. Poor John. I didn't like that animation. Let me give you a hand. High five, Plankton. Oh no! Allow me. Yo! Really can't be that difficult to outsmart. Oh, here we go. All right, rooftop rumble. Is this a boss battle? Maybe. World Championship Tussling proudly present Rooftop Tumble. Uh, uh, how can I sleep at a time like this? Well, it must be a panic reflex, I guess. Yep. Panic. 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 Today, Mermaid Man. Yeah. What's all the noise? I'm trying to. Oh no. I'm Starfish Man. Can we team up? Can we? Mermaid Man's got some lanky feet or lanky legs. Whoa, what? Starfish Man returns. Don't forget, A jumps, Y while jumping for the ground slam, B is for the twist attack, X is for the blister. Uh, bluster puff. Now save Bikini Bottom again. What are these like, pick picketers or something that that are that are working for Plankton? Um, take that. My instinct is to um, my my instinct is to ground slam. Or ground pound, and then pick up those guys to throw them at Plankton. But I guess Plankton's the one that gets to throw things in this game. Oh, there's a... There we go. Okay, not that hard. <laughs> Hope you've got a harder challenge, Plankton. Oh, I got hit. <laughs> Poweredness. <laughs> Who ever heard of a giant plankton? And here we see that Patrick's native Canadian is coming out. All right, just just mash B. <laughs> oh, sleepy seed. Just randomly appears at a certain time, I guess. But we got one for each. Does that say? Oh, snail po. Hey, the most important meal of the day. The they did sneak uh, quite a few. Ooh, quite a few SpongeBob references in here. Well, like SpongeBob. Uh, technically, the entire thing is a SpongeBob reference. Uh, I, I mean, you know, uh, references to specific episodes. Hey, you're you're not saying that. I can see your face over there. You were you were cackling. Why do you even care what I'm doing, Plankton? Just walk away, dude. <laughs> like, uh... What goes up must come down. I wonder where they came up with the idea for having Patrick just ha be... Have this, like, superhero B-plot in the middle of this game. That is 
otherwise inspired by like horror movies. I mean, I guess SpongeBob stuff is unconnected as well, but. Plan B, Plan B. <laughs> but yeah, it seems a bit odd. I don't, I don't, um, this is a loading screen, I guess. Also, where, where's Murdered Man? Is he actually going to help me, or was that just just a cameo for the sake of cameo? Throw something at his eye, Patrick. Oh, a button. I think that's um, Mermaid Man there. I think. Hard to tell, really. Okay, so this is a thing that exists now. Uh, what do I do? Uh, <laughs> Plankton's eagerly awaiting something to happen. Oh, okay. Fine. Stop doing that. Oh, I see. I hit the button and then I knock him down. <laughs> Plankton totally sees us coming and he's just... Oh, you think you're so clever. Well, take this. oh I gotta turn the tables on Plankton. Got it. A good hero always goes for the I don't think he really has fingers so much as mittens. Mitten hands. Hiya. Yeah, these things are made from Krusty Krab tables. The strongest material known to man. So we just gotta do this a few more times, basically. Oh, oh well, we got it. <laughs> no, we didn't. Hmm. Uh, we lost it because we died, I guess. Maybe, or is that like the next... Sleepy seed. There it is. Okay. Uh, is there still an enemy or? Oh, there must be. Oh. Yeah, exactly. You ain't doing much. Uh, I don't know if I can kill that guy over there, but I don't think it really matters. Why do we respawn here every time? Why can't we just continue from where we were standing? This game, you know what this game kind of feels like? It feels like an arcade game. Basically. It, it, it feels like like a, like one of the, I mean, not, not like literally that it's a game that you would find in an arcade because it's a little more complicated than that um, graphically and stuff. But it, it, it just kind of has that appeal of like, why did I just teleport over here um that kind of appeal of like i don't know if, if if i was like trying to kill time at an arcade or something or if it'd be cool to like have a player two jump in and, and do this sort of like generic kind of beat em up stuff that that would that would be the kind of context that this makes sense oh yeah i can can I reflect that? I think I, I can reflect those. That's how I kill those guys. But apparently I don't even have to, so. Yeah, I, I, I know Mermaid Man. I know. Where's Barnacle Boy? Why didn't they just have Barnacle Boy? They could at least get his actor, like. Perhaps it's time for me to execute a new strategy. Plan B. Two. Alright. So I guess you could call it Plan B. Plan B. Alright, I'll stop using that joke. <laughs> Do you ever blink, Patrick? Man? The starfish man? I wonder how... I wonder what the canonical status is of this game. Hmm. Did Patrick, like, really have this dream about, oops, about Starfish Man, and then that, that vaguely inspired him to become Patrick Man? I know, I know, it, it really, it doesn't matter. I'm just I'm speculating for the sake of fun here. Ooh. 
I don't know. He did kind of seem to be more inspired by the stuff from that episode. Put the searchlights in the air. And All right. Oh, yeah. I'm the ridiculous one. Nope. That's not the... I'm not the one cackling like a madman. God, these fans take a million years to spin. Woo. There's the signal. Let's go. Did you really need that signal? Also, this should be like the the, the mermaid man symbol or something. Or, or the starfish man symbol. Should be a star in the sky. Uh, okay. You are no match for my oh, it brings these guys out and raises this? Hmm. Yeah, well, no, I guess not. I, that's what I just said. <laughs> yeah, I'm not having too much fun either, Plankton. <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, that's a sleepy seat about. Oh, I'm dead. You squish sea snails? Oh, you sicko! And right in front of the snail post sign, too. <laughs> whoa, whoa! No one gets to say that about Barnacle Boy. There it is. Okay. Um, excuse me. I would like to... Collect that sleepy seed. How? How? Uh, it's just dancing up in the air. All right, you you all need to die now. That's that's enough of you. Oh, I died. Luckily, this game is pretty forgiving. Well, very forgiving in terms of deaths, in that there's just like pretty much no penalty whatsoever. You go back five seconds. Is this like an optical illusion? Is that sleepy seed closer than I think it is? Maybe something's gonna raise when, um, after I'm done beating these guys. I'm afraid if I kill them though, like the sleepy seed will disappear. So are these like Plankton cosplayers or something? They kind of look like that. All right, maybe if we... Oh, there we go. Or are they actually his relatives that he also blew up to a relative size? Yeah, yeah, dream, dream, dream. I get it. <laughs> okay, man. Move into attack formation. Leave me alone, you pest. Man, he went from cackling to uh, to frustrated there pretty fast. I do I do suspect we are getting towards the end of this game. Don't look at me like that, Patrick. Apparently, my neighbor is trying out his clogs upstairs. I don't know if you can hear that. Welcome to tonight's live edition of World's Greatest Roof. Must be on Fox. Yeah, I get the idea. I do the exact same thing I've been doing. Hit his hands. Well, defeat these guys, then hit his hands. It would be really nice if there was just like a little more variation in this game. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I don't know what that did, but that controlled the, the crane. I'd probably have to hit both of them for something to happen. Ooh, look at this dynamic camera moving with the crane. That That's pretty cool. For a second, I thought it was one of those things where I actually, like, had to control it in a certain way. But nah, it just seems like I have to press the buttons. Alright, shoot at me, Plankton. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you didn't get the other one. So I guess it's at this time that I'll, I'll definitely ask, those of you who have played this game, do you like it? Like, do you think it's fun or, or oh gosh, interesting? Or do you kind of agree that it's it's a bit uh, monotonous and, and just kind of missing 
variation. I mean, it's got, like, big variation in that each level is kind of a different thing. But it's also not because, like, they reuse, like, the, the plane and the, the rocket are kind of the same thing anyway. It's like it's varied in that way, but it's not varied in individual levels. Oh, do I hit the... No? Okay. And I mean, this is just, it's just mash B. That's, that's it. I have other moves, but like, this is just completely effective because it's all like the same exact enemy. Oh, oh, I can fall down there? Didn't even know. And I have to... Oh no, I can restart from here. Like, I can, I can very much appreciate um, what this game was kind of going for and the, the unique styles and um, stuff. But like... It, it just, it, I don't know, it doesn't really come together. It's kind of boring, <laughs> all said and done. The, the Plankton level was definitely the best, and I'm kind of afraid that that's, like, maybe the last... Th that's, like, the, the one level that doesn't actually repeat. Uh, we gotta do everything else, like, twice or three times, but not that. I gotta remember to not fall down there. There's a Sleepy Seed somewhere. Also, these Sleepy Seeds are... Oh, they suck. Where, where am... Okay. Do I have to jump off to... Wait, how do I get that without... Where? Are you? Oh, okay, it just suctions to me. Also, the camera's not great, and stuff like this, like, I, I can't move the camera. I'm just kind of stuck with this one view. So, yeah, I mean, I would... As it stands right now, I would give this game probably maybe a, a D plus or something. Just, just boring. <laughs> like, really. Um... I mean, like, I get, it's like one of those things where it, it was a, it, it's a much more fun experience that playing this than, than, like, trying to 100% the movie game, but the, the fun parts of the movie game were a lot more fun than this. I'd say the game reached higher highs and lower lows, whereas this one just kind of flatlines through most of it. But I, it is the kind of game that I could see if you're younger, uh... And you just kind of want a SpongeBob game to play, then, you know, if, if you're younger, it might be more challenging than it is to me. But I don't know. Right. I will take it, and I will press buttons. <laughs> that one guy just fell in there. That's gotta really hurt. I was supposed to be doing. Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> Did you just like backflip off there? Yeah, weren't you going for the Krabby Patty? Why do you care about Starfish Man? I can't fly. I mean, I, I guess I can in these loading sequences, but in general, I can't. So, like, you could just kind of go somewhere else. News just in. The plucky starfish is making his final stand against the colossal might of the of the what? The plankton? Sorry, we'll try and keep it down. Was plankton supposed to like say something like hey quiet around here or something? Because he didn't. Uh bounce all the buttons to make a, a shrinkifier ray appear. Um, excuse me, it's called uh, you know, Murid Man's mini belt. Then get it uh, behind it and press B repeatedly to build up the power and zap button. All right. I'm glad to finally Sounds pretty self-explanatory. Now this is the shrinkifier ray. Probably is it set to Wumbo? Keeps disappearing oh. down these hatches. It's mighty annoying. When you do catch up with it, just Sounds more like the Flying Dutchman than he does Mermaid Man. I've got to go. I did it. They're serving Eatlo. It, he's, uh, I'm pretty sure that's the same guy as did Mermaid, or that did Murray Man in, um, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Murray Man wasn't in the movie game, just like he wasn't in the movie. But, uh, get behind and mash B. Got it. That didn't take much. Uh-oh, I have to aim? Oh, no. Well, maybe I don't have to aim. <laughs> Where did it pop up? 
Uh, where did it? What? Where? Oh, do I have to press all three of them? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I have to press all three of them. Okay. No, I don't have to aim. <laughs> he wasn't dodging there. He just, like, magically did that. Also, having these, uh, a criticism is that having these Z tokens do absolutely nothing for me in game. The only thing they actually do is, um, by the way, I'm not aiming this, this just shoots wherever. So I assume after hitting these enough, it'll, it'll just hit Plankton. Um, but yeah, they do something in the shop, but they do absolutely nothing for me in game. It's kind of like annoying, or well, not annoying, it's just like a letdown, uh, I assume. Sleepy Seed's probably on the edge. Let's get it before we... There it is. Just, just right here. I mean, the collectibles in general, the Sleepy Seeds are kind of dumb. Like how you have to go through the whole level again just to get them. Oh, gosh. Now you have to get all of them to do anything. I don't know. It's just It's very lackluster. Doesn't give you... Doesn't give you a sense of accomplishment for collecting this stuff. Did I win? How did... Yay! Oh right, we shrunk. We shrunk Thank them. Thank you for trying, Patrick, old pal. But it looks like we've made it to Shangri-La. Not Shangri-La, my peripherous friend, but a manifestation of your nocturnal subconsciousness. What? <laughs> what is happening? Um. Well, I think this is a good place to leave it off. I'm very curious as to what's going to happen next. Um. Uh, yeah. With that, Pie Guy rules out.